All right, so here's what I think is going to mm -hmm. play out here, uh, December 19th. So for the first time ever, the first time since Election Day, um, and the first time they took over, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Monmouth out with a poll yesterday. Biden's approval rating is now, according to this poll, let's see, 34 percent. It's yeah. tough to keep it straight because last year Pew had him at, uh, last week rather, at 33 percent. Mm -hmm. Kamala Harris, Kelly, guess what, is at 35 percent. So it's only one point, <laughs> but she is now polling ahead of Joe Biden. And I think that Democrats, including Barack Obama, David Axelrod, and many at the DNC party leaders are, at first, they were repulsed mm -hmm. by the idea of getting behind Kamala Harris as their candidate in 2024. They can't get rid of her. They yeah. cannot get rid of her. I think she's the nominee. Kamala uh, Harris I... ultimately becomes the nominee. <laughs> Joe Biden, who knows what happens with his health, but I think they either wait and do it at the DNC or they slowly but surely push him out. And again, I brought this up before. There is precedent for this. LBJ announced in March of 68, March, it's only December right now, so we've got three plus months. He announced in March that he would not seek re-election. So there is a playbook for this. There is still plenty of time, despite what the media is telling you. And I think the media, the dominant media, the left-leaning media, and Democrats start slowly, quietly getting behind Kamala Harris. What do you think of it? <laughs> I don't know if they get behind Kamala Harris. Kelly, they Listen, can't, look, at, look think, at, they can't. I don't think it, they, who else, they can't Kamala. just get, I've thought about this. I was all over Gavin Newsom. Not literally, <laughs> yeah. just, you know, as, as being a candidate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, oh. Saw what happened in the Senate, right? Um, no, I'm saying that Kamala Harris, they can't get rid of. They can't just get rid of her. So what do they do with her? The devil you know versus the devil you don't. She'll be the nominee. Mm. I am not so sure about that, Rob. Rick, anything to that? So, yeah, I, no, but I, Rick, I, Rick and I have had this conversation there's, online. There's, there's We've had this conversation. No way. <laughs> no way? No way? Yeah, I say no Charlie? way. There's two, there's, I, I say absolutely no well, way. Well, then fine. If it's not Joe, what are they going to do? Right? How did they get I mean, rid of Kamala? I mean, do you really Kamala? think that Kamala has a better chance of beating Donald Trump than, than Mr. Biden? Of course I do not. <laughs> not no, I don't. So I don't think Kamala has a better Kamala. chance at beating anyone. Asa Hutchinson is still technically in the race. I think he beats Kamala if he's the nominee next November. But I don't think they can get rid of Kamala Harris. So and they that make creates, her the nominee? That creates a huge problem. So what do they do if they really have to get rid of Joe Biden? Joe Biden, I looked this up this morning. So I was looking at Gallup, Jimmy Carter numbers. So a year mm -hmm. out from the election, Jimmy Carter Carter, according to Gallup, was right around 37%. And then a bizarre thing happened. Um, in the winter of 1980, uh, February into March, really into April, I'm looking at the numbers right now, Carter's numbers started to skyrocket. And I was like, wait a second, what happened mm. in the winter of 1980? Oh, the U.S. hockey team beat the Russians, Kelly. So it was like the era of good feelings all over again. Carter's numbers went up. But then guess what? As we approached late spring, Carter dipped back into the 30s. He never recovered, and Ronald Reagan beat him, won in 84, and then George H.W. Bush won in 1988. Twelve years of Republicans in the White House. The same thing's going to happen again. Look, there, there's two so parts sure, to this, Rob. though. If you, if you look at this, between now and the Democratic Convention, they can absolutely get rid of Kamala. Anybody can be the candidate. You just have to do the filing. You get the primaries, get the delegates. One convention happens if Biden is still there and he's the nominee. If, if he were to die the next day, not saying he is, but if something were happening the next day, oh, right. Kamala would automatically become the nominee. That's right. the only way that's locked in. Democrats yeah. see that she's not going to win either. So between, this is why it's critical that Democrats figure this out within the next 60 days, yeah. if Biden's going to run or not. And if he's not, they need to find a replacement quickly. Even though Kamala's leading the polls, I think at the heart of it, the Democrats do not believe she can win. And that's yeah. going to be like, a problem. Like, like what? You're looking at the wrong polls, Charla? <laughs> like what? The White House Christmas party straw poll? Oh yeah, they didn't have a Christmas party. Like what polls is he talking about? And this winter, there's right. no Team USA to save Biden. But right. there are the Olympics this summer. In this summer. Summer yes. Olympics. Maybe. Maybe. Although it's not U.S. <laughs> versus the Russians, right?